all throughout Oklahoma, and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire, and they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation, and it was coming, it was being birthed, and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America, all throughout, and I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life, uh, that, that this flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord. He got radically born again during this time frame. I'm talking people say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus for what I saw coming. And then I saw people interceding when he and I see him I saw him winning the the presidency through great uh, the Lord showed me it would go clear into the the summer great persecution would come on him through the judges and through the uh, through the law and all these people trying to sue him and all this stuff but there would be a stop to it and their things would start to to, to break free come toward the fall and then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting and then and then and then there will be a great economy crash okay so Dr Brown th th that's very specific to say the least language about an uh, attempt grazing his ear he said blew out his eardrum i haven't heard reports of that whether his eardrum or not the, the gentleman's name is brandon briggs his channel is called last days okay and so uh what do you make of that word and then kind of like how does that work where uh, someone can get it so right or so close and then have misheard or just completely didn't get from god and and have did not get it right like how do, how do we make a sort of this how do we make sense of this sort of prophecy right so normally Biblical times, prophecies would be delivered in communities where, where people knew the people. Now we have this internet thing where anything can go out and you don't really know who people are. But let, let's just say that we were familiar with this, the brother, I, I don't know him at all. And today was the first time hearing about any of this. So I, I absolutely believe in prophecy. I believe it's an ongoing gift. I believe it will continue until Jesus returns. I believe scripture is very clear on that. Right. And Amen. you know, I, I called out the failed Trump prophets, especially for refusing to repent and then justifying and coming up with all these, these bogus explanations for why their words didn't come to pass. And folks can, can read propheticstandards.com where we set out guidelines. Mm. Dr. Joe Matera and I and some others, propheticstandards.com, a statement that probably over a thousand leaders signed and then in my book, The Political Seduction of the Church, I devote two whole chapters to the prophetic errors. So I absolutely believe in prophetic ministry today, but I believe there must be accountability. So first thing, if, if I knew this brother, you sent me an article uh, listing various things that he allegedly said that were way off, that were bogus, that he had to apologize for. So yeah. if I knew someone, uh, and, and the website you sent, I. I, I would say I'm not one of their favorites either. So I, I take yeah, everything. Ne neither am I. Neither am I. <laughs> yeah. So so again, look, there may be harsh critics, uh, anti-charismatic critics, people that I feel are unfair, even unethical. Uh, I don't know that website much except for a couple of things here and there. But mm -hmm. this guy's a background of saying stuff since 2013. So, I mean, that's not good. But like he said, we're not going to throw him out of the towel. However, if he has a bad thing, he shouldn't even prophesy even if he gets a word of God. But what I was saying was like, it's like a guy who cries wolf, right? Yeah. Eventually. Three times he's wrong, the fourth time he's right, but no one's going to The thing that I was coming to mind right now is that the way he prophesied everything was the attempt first, then the... Salvation? No. Well, yeah, the, the attempt, the salvation, the, uh, the, loss, trials, the trials, the trials getting dismissed, then the economy. Right. And it's, it's just like I mentioned on the previous video that the economy already happened, the trials already happened. The, uh, shooting, just the shooting just happened. So he, he was talking about it backwards, in my opinion. Right. If it is following that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. Unless, oh, great. Bro, I don't want another no, dude, depression. Like, already, right. Yeah, he's, after the adrenaline and everything that happened, eventually well, he's going to be reflecting on what actually happened, yeah. going into the RNC, or RC, no, the RNC, going into the event, uh, thinking about what just happened. I'm, he's going to be sitting down and he's like, Am I still being a target right here? Am I going to be safe? Oh my, Do I right. have the right people protecting me? Right. All of that is going to be going through. He said, now that the storm has passed, he's going to ref be reflecting on the situation that he was faced. And pretty much, yeah, he will be getting closer to God. But I do believe that it's kind of like a phase that you only pray to God when something bad happens. So right, because people who do that, you forget about you it. You have to make a full call. I would rather you hot or cold. I don't want you lukewarm, right? Uh. Can't be on the fence. You have to go with it full thoroughly. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, we're, like we talked in the previous thing, we're skeptical mm -hmm. about this prophet, about what he said. If it's true, 
that, you know what, we prepare just like in Joseph when he gave his prophetic dreams to Pharaoh, seven years of, you know, flourishing and seven years of famine, right? But the difference is, is that Joseph was known to be a good man from generation, like from a, from a young man to an adult when he was in prison, when he worked underneath uh, Potiphar's house, he was known to be trustworthy and worthy. This guy so far has none yeah. of that. He has so a bad record. <laughs> he has a bad record, right? Um, and even if he's right, it, it, it kind of nullifies his own message because humans, it's not God's message fails. It's that people fail God. 